A massive vitamin D study was just published last week in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And when I say massive, this thing is big. It's a four-year study, uh, including 25,000 adults across the United States, and it was conducted by 140 researchers. And what this study found is earth-shattering. I'm surprised, really shocked, that this is not in the mainstream news. Once again, I say this once in a while when I see a big breakthrough like this relating to not some drug or medicine, but an actual vitamin that you can easily take and you don't need a prescription for. And it seems the media doesn't get excited by these things. But I'll tell you, what this study showed is that the people that took vitamin D3, and they did compare it to omega-3, by the way, which has other positive studies, but not with the telomere length that they showed was preserved by the vitamin D3 supplement. And yes, that's the same vitamin D3 that I take with K2 and magnesium from Do Not Age. You take it with magnesium because if you're going to take magnesium, vitamin D3 helps you absorb magnesium. And K2 is healthy for your arteries so you don't get calcification by just taking vitamin D3 alone. So they all play nice together. They all work well together. So what, again, this study showed was that people that took it for four years preserved their telomere length by about three years. Now, this is particularly exciting to me because I've been taking vitamin D3 for about three and a half years. So I'm hoping that I preserve my telomere length and I'm optimistic about it because I've sort of been frozen in this aging time the whole last few years. You can go back and watch the videos. I haven't changed much in my view. I haven't aged much. And many people around me have aged over the last three or four years. I know this because I play tennis with a lot of them and I've seen them sort of deteriorate before my my eyes, and somehow I've been able to preserve myself well. So I do kind of use that as this arbitrary uh, judging mechanism. But still, you know, I think there's some validity to it the longer that I go on and the longer that I continue to do well. This study comes on the heels of a study two years ago that came out that was conducted in Canada over a 10-year period with about 12,000 participants that showed that vitamin D could reduce the risk of dementia by about 40%. That study was so exciting and so convincing that close members of my family, including my wife, my mom, and others, started taking vitamin D3 regularly after that study. I mean, who wants to get dementia? So if a vitamin D supplement can help prevent dementia and now help you maintain or preserve your telomere length significantly, only aging a year in four years, well, these are great reasons to not only take vitamin D3, but to start early. Because it is of note that they didn't say reversed telomere length. To my knowledge, there's no way to extend your telomeres once they've shortened. So you want to preserve them as long as possible. So probably if you're listening to this study and interested in the results and you want to act, you want to take action yourself, you should probably be taking vitamin D earlier than later. I would say don't start later than 40, 45 um, maybe even sooner uh, if you really uh, want to make sure you preserve as much length as possible for as long as possible. But certainly after 40, that's when we start to see more significant shortening of telomeres over the decades that follow. So this hits personal. You know, this really hit me personal, knowing that I've probably done a really good thing by starting uh, something three years ago. A lot of times I feel like I come to the party too late. I find out about these things too late, and I sort of rush to start doing something or taking something because of a study. But it's nice to see a study that confirms something I've already been doing now for years. And I know that many of us feel that way when we see a positive study to a supplement like NMN or something that we're taking already, and it sort of reinforces things for you. For me, I sort of get lulled to sleep by it all, by the whole longevity thing, because it's become my new normal. And I have to try and ward against that from time to time. Uh, as enthusiastic as I am about supplements, uh, at times I'm just so busy with my life every day that I take it for granted. I sort of just say, oh, well, I feel good, so I'll just keep going. Whereas five years ago, I had hit that wall and I had a sense of urgency 
to take action, to do something. I had a number of health conditions that are gone now. So I, I do take it for granted. I'm guilty of that for sure. And this is a wake-up call for me. Hey, keep doing what I'm doing. It's helping. Uh, not only am I feeling and looking decent for my age of 60 and a half now, but there's a growing amount of scientific evidence that support the things that I'm doing, like taking vitamin D3, for example. Again, you can get the one I'm taking from Do Not Age. You can save 10%, as always, with any of their supplements using my code PULSE. It is vitamin D3, the one that was used in the study. That's important because there are different types of vitamins, and vitamin D3, the variant D3, is the one that we get from the sun that we absorb in our skin if we're getting enough of it that way. So if you're not in the sun throughout the year, which most of us are not all year long, it's good to supplement with it. If you're not getting enough from from your food supply. Again, most of us are not. We're getting into July very soon, starting tomorrow, and we should be hearing back from FDA in response to the citizen petition for NMN. So I'm going to be reporting quite a bit on that as soon as we start to hear something, uh, at least some rumblings of some response coming. A judge ordered a response by July of this year, and it's upon us. So hopefully we'll get an answer soon. And we all hope for good news, and I kind of expect good news. And I'll let you all know as soon as I hear something. Thanks for watching. Take that vitamin D3, and I'll see you soon.